But we gonna slice it up though. So I got my paper plate and my potato and my Cutco knife. And I'm ready to slice. Hey guys, it's Kinsey. So today's video is going to be a little um, trying to try, um, you know, like, let's see if it let's see if it works type video. You feel me? As y'all can see, not looking too hot over here. Not looking like a hot girl going into the new year. As y'all saw in my last video, I was really down bad, but. I mean, I had figured something out. We're gonna talk skin real quick. We're gonna talk skin the whole video, but I had two bad pimples right here, as y'all could tell clearly. And I was using um hydrogen peroxide, you know, dabbing that one there at night, da da da. And it was helping to an extent, but you know, my dumb self kept messing and peeling and yeah but there was one night where i started using alcohol to like help it like at least diminish the darkness because you know it's just too dark you know when you could just tell somebody got like a bad pimple especially when you're black there was this one night where i saw the pimple you feel me like it wasn't just like a odd dark spot anymore or anything like that it was a pimple it was very poppable too and i was like Mm, I shouldn't pop it. I shouldn't pop it again, but I did pop it this day It was like really dark. It was like oddly dark and I'm like Like and my stuff never looked like that before. This is weird as suspicious and so Popped it and then once that mess was all out there was like a dark mark in the middle of it like not a hole but a hole like it looked like there was a hole in the the area so I'm like, whoa. So it looks like it was deep in there too. Not too deep, obviously, because if it was too deep, I wouldn't have been able to do it myself. But it was deep enough, right? I had, like used my pinkies, you feel me? I popped it out and it was a black head. I never really had black heads like that. Like I've never really had that happen to me. Not in that way either. So when I had did that, I was like, whoa. Like I can't believe that was that was back there. Next day, it was way brighter. Like not way brighter in a bad way, but it just looks like a um it just looks like a normal healing pimple. Let me start talking about the video because I'm doing too much of this. So I've seen videos and things on Pinterest and whatnot. About, um, potato juice, potato skin peelings, whatever. Not skin peelings, but peelings, slices of the potato can help get rid of dark marks. And I keep seeing this consistent day of three you know get rid of this in three days you know use da -da 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 -da, three days right so we're gonna try it it's currently sunday so i have this potato here and i'm not making potato juice okay I'm not doing that but we're gonna slice it up though so i got my paper plate and my potato and my cutco knife and i'm ready to slice also i washed the potato first so the places i'm gonna be putting it i'm not really too worried about this right here like um not too worried about it but shoot we'll put it right here we'll put it right here we'll put it right here clearly and we're gonna put it up here before we get into all this the way that potato juice or potatoes whatever helps you get rid of dark spots is that it has natural bleaching agents and helps hyperpigmentation effectively getting rid of blemishes or something like that something along those lines so the way i think i'm gonna do this is i'm gonna show you guys the slices that i cut up i don't think i can unless i tape it to my face i don't think i can sit up with the potatoes on my face especially down here so i'm going to put it on my face and lay down here are two of my slices okay um they're thick i didn't think it was going to be that hard trying to cut a potato trying to make them thin but then it like it, it just got away from me you know it just got away from me and next thing you know i i got lopsided shaped potatoes so the one I'm gonna put on my chin is the butt one, like the the end of the 
the patata. I have another smaller one that I'm going to put right here. I don't need to put a big old potato right here, but a big old potato slice is what I got. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lay down, like I said, I'm gonna leave it on there for 20 minutes. And then I'm going to wipe my face off, rinse my face off with water. And I'm gonna come back, tell y'all how I feel, if it look any different slightly or whatever. Okay, so this is what my face looks like now. Um, I mean, it wasn't gonna look drastically different after one thing of 20 minutes, you feel me? But, um, I did end up cutting, you know, logically, I did end up cutting one of the potatoes in half because it just, that, that wasn't gonna work. But I cut in half and put it half up here, half right here. But then the other two, I just was like holding on like this, but it was fine because I was laying down and I was watching TikTok, so I was chilling. But um, did get like a, it did leave a uh, like a little white layering, so maybe that means something good. I don't know, but um, hopefully it looks a little different tomorrow and it like the the, the fading catches up. But I just I do want to tell y'all I am still going to put on my ambi fading cream after this because I don't like I use that every night so. Okay, so today's Monday night. This is what my face looks like. Um, I don't know if it looks too different. So I have this light. But even looking in the mirror over here and over here, I have two mirrors. My skin looks fine. Um, doesn't look worse. I'm optimistic when it comes to my skin. Even when I mess it up like how I mess it up. But with the whole potato thing, I do want to see if these two you know the darkest spots like get any lighter especially the middle one that would be great you know and honestly if this could get lighter too basically those three prime spots so cut them way thinner way better than yesterday and i cut them in half I only have two potato slices that i cut in half because what was i gonna do with the whole potato anyways and i took a knife for the knife that i was using i like scraped the ins I just like scrape the insides so it can be like I don't know so it'd be like it's already moist but it's more like um product is all fucked up or whatever so so again this is my skin day night one or day one or day two day two I guess I'm gonna leave this on for about 25 20 minutes and then I'm gonna do what I did yesterday and rinse it off with warm water Okay, so I noticed I didn't show y'all what my face looked like after I got done yesterday, but yesterday I got like this white stuff here too. Not really on my cheeks or on my forehead like that a little bit, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that before I wash it off because I it clicked in my mind that I didn't do that yesterday. This is my face after all of that again. And like I said last night too, I'm gonna put the ambi cream on my face do the same thing I do every night, yada, yada, yada. So this is night two. I wanna be super duper optimistic. It doesn't look, maybe it's getting smaller. Maybe, maybe the dark spot is getting smaller. Cause like, honestly, the main focus is here. Like, okay, yes, this and this, but like, you know, this like right in the middle of my freaking face. Like, you feel me? I'll go ahead and put my cream on. And then we'll see what my face looks like tomorrow night. And we'll do it for the last day tomorrow. So it's Tuesday. Um, this is the last night. This is my skin. I think that it has gotten smaller. I think that maybe if I had some smaller blemishes and like they weren't as dark as they were. Because y'all saw my first video of the year last week. Them boys was dark. Dark as heck. But I think that from that video to this video, looks much smaller. And from when I started it to now, I think that it has... I think that this has gotten smaller and this has faded a little. And my cheek... My cheeks is honestly a whole different story because my cheeks get um really red. Like, my cheeks are very red nowadays i mean they don't look that way now but my cheeks get very pink so this is the last night i got my slices of potatoes right here where i was cutting them they low-key just fell really nicely because like i skinned it oddly but it's still like a nice you know 
piece. I only have two slices again like the other night and they're in half. So I'm gonna just lay down for 20 minutes. I guess I should just give y'all a visual of what I do since I didn't do that the first time for whatever reason. So I take the patata, I put it on the spot, I rub it around, then I leave it there. Then I do it to the other spot, leave it there, leave it there. That's what I do. And then like I told y'all, I still use my Ambi cream and stuff like that at night. Like I still do my um my skincare routine. I also did see some things about how you could like put water on the um like the potato, you could put water on that and then put it on your face or you could put lemon on that. I didn't do that because I mean, she could always test try again another time, but I just want to start out with the potato. But I'm going to leave it on there for basically I'm probably just going to watch a Fire Force episode and that's probably like 25 minutes so i'm leaving on there for 25 ish minutes maybe with ads it's like 28. okay so i just wiped everything off this is how my skin looks you know same as when you see me but i did notice while i was laying down i never showed you guys what the potatoes look like once i'm done they're usually all like they look dead and worn out and i like that because i feel like maybe maybe you're just getting all up in my pores you feel me like they're real floppy real floppy and look dried out i think it has gotten down a little bit not from what i just did but just in general but so we'll see how it looks tomorrow and make final judgments and results so it's the last day this is the results of everything let me get up close this is the results of everything cheek chin I think it was cool. I mean, it didn't get completely rid of my dark spots in three days, but I think that it did diminish the sizes a little bit. At least I think that they shrunk a little. If you have smaller dark spots, I would definitely try. Marks like this one, right? Yeah, I would do stuff like, if I had more marks like that on my face, I feel like it would have been easier to tell if they had went away because they're so small clearly they didn't get rid of my dark spots but i think that they like helped my skin in some way shape or form and like i really think that the middle spot on my forehead has went down but yes i do want to do more um test videos and trying to do this and let's see what happens if i do this type videos i enjoy those so if you have any like test try ideas let me know but I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.